Well guys, the Indigo Disc DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has finally come out and there are a ton of people everywhere that are playing through this DLC right now and having a great time with it. But no matter what point you're at inside of the DLC, you're going to eventually come to the conclusion about the brand new currency that was introduced inside of it known as Blueberry Points or BP. Pretty much regardless of what you want to do inside of this DLC, everything boils down to just having a lot of blueberry points or BP, whether you want to upgrade the different throw styles that you can have for how you throw your Pokeball in battle, or maybe you want to try to find these rare starter Pokemon that can actually appear inside of the wild in the Terrarium, or maybe you want to find these amazing legendary Pokemon that can be roaming around, but you want to obtain these snacks for these legendary Pokemon from Snacksworth, you're going to realize that pretty much every single one of these things boils down to just having a a lot of BP. And you might be thinking, well, what's the fastest way of getting BP? Because I want to do all of these things. I want to have all these rare starter Pokemon and legendaries and all of that, but I don't know what's the fastest way of getting it. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys inside of this video and the fastest farming method that you can have for how to get BP really quickly inside of the Indigo Disc. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am having a special giveaway for the holidays where I'm giving away a digital download code for any Nintendo Switch game or DLC and all you got to do to enter is click the link below in the description or the pinned comment and you can have a chance to win any Nintendo Switch game or DLC that you want whether it's the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Boosters Course Pass or Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Wonder, any Nintendo Switch game that you want. The giveaway does end right before Christmas so definitely be sure to click the link below and enter for a chance to win. Alright, so at the very start of the DLC, when you start making a little bit of progress, eventually Lacey is going to talk about how there's a lot of extracurricular activities that you can do at the Blueberry Academy, inside of the Terrarium, and just throughout the entire area of the DLC that can give you Blueberry Points or BP, and these are known as BBQs or Blueberry Quests that you can do, and that's what gains you these points. And so by pressing right on the D-pad, you can see all of the different Blueberry quests that you have available at the current moment, and you can try to do as many of these as you can, and pretty much the ones that you're going to start out with are going to be very basic ones, like just sneaking up on a Pokemon, using the auto battle feature to have your Pokemon run around in the wild and knock out some Pokemon for you, and these are going to reward you like a small amount of BP, like 10 or 20 or 30, and they're just going to get you a small amount of BP. Now the first step is really going to be just trying to do as many of these quests as you can as by doing these entry level quests eventually you're going to get to the point where you're going to have a phone call with the director of the Blueberry Academy Serrano and he's going to be impressed with your work at doing these BBQs and then he's eventually going to say like okay we were just giving you introductory quests at this time but now we feel like you're ready for the more kind of intermediate one so we're going to give you this upgrade now and you're going to start to see some more rare quests start to appear that are going to give you more BP. Continue doing these intermediate quests for a good amount of time as well and then eventually you're going to get the final phone call with Serrano where he's going to be even more impressed now that you've been tackling all of these intermediate BBQs really well as well and then he's going to be like you know what I think you're ready for the advanced quest and that's when he's going to give you the final phone call that gives you pretty much all of the hardest quests that can be available to you. Now even with all of these quests that have been unlocked, if you try doing them, you're going to notice that it doesn't really give you a ton of BP. Like, if you're just playing this and trying to do all of these different quests and things that pop up, you're going to be gaining like 20 BP, 10 BP, 30 BP, and it takes a good amount of time, but you're going to notice that for a lot of these things that you want to do inside of the Indigo Disc, you're going to need like thousands and thousands of BP in order to get all the legendary Pokemon and all these other things that you might want to do. So how is the fastest method possible for gaining BP really fast? because you might be thinking well Arrow I'm doing this and I'm taking hours and hours and I'm gaining like a couple hundred BP each time what is the fastest way and how are all these people getting legendary Pokemon so quickly and the starter Pokemon and all of that well the trick for that actually comes down to doing these quests with more people so if you actually decide to start an online room or decide to go into somebody else's world, you're going to notice that anytime you tackle a BBQ or if anybody else does any BBQ inside of that multiplayer lobby, every single person in that lobby is going to get the blueberry points even if they did not contribute anything to it. And so because of this, you can actually gain a lot of BP really fast by just playing with a group of people. And so of course, if you play with two people, then anytime your friend does something, you're going to benefit from it. If you play with three people, anytime those two people do something, 
you're also going to benefit from it. And of course, the maximum amount of people that you can play with is a group of four. And so that's what you can see here in the video that I have. I basically went into my Discord server and asked if there was anybody who was willing to play. And for this video, all we did was just invite three people into the lobby and we started just tackling these BBQs for like an hour or so. And within that time, we were able to gain thousands and thousands of BP because anytime somebody did something, everybody else was also gaining from it. And you're going to notice that if you actually play with a group, you can unlock these very special group quests that can only be available if you're playing this in multiplayer. And you'll never be able to get these if you're just playing by yourself. And these ones, like the one that we had, was finding these ditto blocks that were scattered around one of the biomes in the terrarium. And this gave you 500 BP. And it took a while, but eventually we were all able to kind of figure out where they were. And once we got this, we were all gaining 500 BP per this. And this was insane because if you were trying to gain 500 BP by yourself, that takes like another two or three hours just by yourself gaining 20, 30 each time. Like it would take you forever to gain 500. So this was an extremely fast method to doing that. Now, maybe you're thinking, well, this sounds incredible, but I don't have any friends or I don't have anybody who has the DLC as well. So what am I supposed to do? Well, fortunately for you, we have an amazing community over in my Discord server. And all you got to do is just click the link below in the description and you can join in our Discord where there's an amazing online gaming chat room. And you can just go in there and say like, hey, does anybody want to grind some BP inside of the Indigo Disc? I don't know if there's always going to be people available, but there's always a lot of friendly people that are willing to help when they can. And you can definitely make some friends in there and try to play this with some friends and try to gain BP together as that's definitely going to make this significantly easier for all of us. And that's pretty much what I did for this video as well. I just went in and asked some people if they were willing to help out and we were all benefiting from this because everybody else was also gaining this BP. And so this seems to be the fastest method that we have right now for how you can gain BP really quickly inside of the Indigo Disc. And it really does seem like everything just kind of comes down to this. Like, even if you want to do the post-game stuff where you can invite gym leaders from the Paldea region into your league club room and you can actually trade with them. Like how in the trailer it showed you talking with Iono and then she traded you over her Magnemite. If you want to do any of that type of stuff, it does require you needing to have BP. So this is definitely the fastest method that we have for how you can get it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I'm going to be having more Pokemon videos in the future. So definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Comment down below and let me know if this video helped you guys out and what you're going to be spending your BP on. What are you trying to do the most inside of the Indigo Disc? Definitely be sure to let me know down below in the comments. But if you don't have anything to say about this, just comment your favorite emoji for some engagement. I would really appreciate it. Go follow me on Twitter at actual arrows so you can be featured in videos and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well. I'm giving away a free digital download code for any Nintendo Switch game. And all you got to do to enter is just click the link below in the description or the pinned comment. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.